Uh, we're going to take you back to that dramatic rescue in Thailand now, and uh, we've just received new pictures uh, of the rescue itself inside the cave system. And these are the boys actually being brought out along the cave system uh, in that three-day operation to rescue the 12 boys and their football coach had been trapped in that cave for more than a fortnight. And it's emerged now that um, the boys were passed along through the cave system on stretchers and that they had been heavily sedated. So they were effectively uh, sleeping. Uh, one of the great fears of the rescuers was that the boys would panic as they were being brought out. And so they were given uh, sedatives uh, to keep them calm. Uh, now, a, uh, a, a former uh, SEAL diver with the Thai Navy said that the boys, um, some of them were asleep, some of them were groggy, uh, just wriggling their fingers. But uh, that was how they were brought out, uh, sedated and therefore calm, no panic at all. A remarkable three-day rescue operation to bring out those 12 boys and their coach. And, and we're also hearing today that it was just in the nick of time because we knew there were rising waters because of monsoon rains. And it's now being said that if they hadn't got the last of the boys and their coach out yesterday, then today the water levels might well have been uh, too high and that they wouldn't have been able to rescue the final few boys and their coach. So it does seem that uh, they did just get them out in the nick of time. What has also emerged is that as, as well as this international team of rescuers who went into the caves to bring them out, including uh, British divers, we know elite British cave divers were, were part of the team, but there was also uh, it's now emerged an Australian diver, an Australian expert diver who was also an anaesthetist and it seems that uh, he had a pretty critical role to play in bringing out the boys and perhaps administering those sedatives that I was just uh, uh, mentioning. Well, the boys we now know are all in hospital in Chiang Rai and they're in a pretty good condition, um, we're hearing. Uh, not suffering from too much stress. Of course, one of the concerns of the psychologists has been that the boys would have been traumatised by this uh, terrifying ordeal to have been stuck in the cave for so long, wondering if they'd ever be rescued, if they'd ever get out alive. But uh, apparently they're in pretty good physical condition. You're seeing there the guide rope that was established within the cave system so that uh, that was easier for the divers uh, to get in and out. Um, such a mammoth and incredible effort by so many people, international rescuers from around the world, including, as I've said, uh, British divers. And you can see these are the first pictures, really dramatic pictures, of the boys themselves being carried out. And as I say, heavily sedated there. You can see them in those tinfoil um, covers to keep them warm and brought out alive. Perhaps against all the odds, 12 boys and their coach rescued alive. Wonderful story.